Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today, man? It's a beautiful day here in Houston again. Nice, clear skies. Really great weather, man. This is Gregory Wiles with this inspirational morning walk. For the first time, listeners, you know, I just used to um, get out in the morning, do some exercise, walk around the neighborhood a little bit, and then just share my thoughts. You know, whatever thought is on my mind that day, I share with, with, um, with you guys. So, good morning, good morning, good morning again, guys. Happy Friday to everyone. All right, guys, I know this week, I can jump right into it. This week, we were doing about the laws. We're talking about laws, right, this whole week. And I just want to say, a law is there not to harm you, not to cause you any stress. But laws are really created to protect us, to protect us and to predict a certain outcome. Okay, it's there to protect us and predict a certain outcome. So that's what laws are there for, guys. So I want you guys to get thinking about that. And the universe operates on laws, right? It's not luck and it's not, not by chance, it's laws. The universe operates on laws. So I want you guys to be thinking about that, all right? So today, what we're going to deal about, well, first thing about that, I just want, um, I usually be on on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7.30 Central Time, which is 8.30 in Eastern Time. So that's the time I usually be on. But this week, I've come on every day because I want to deal with these laws. All right, let's jump into it. Today, we're going to talk about the power of thy tongue. The power of thy tongue. Right, guys, your tongue. Let's start off with a scripture. In James 3, 5, it says, Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a great spark. So, guys, you know, you know, one little wrong word you say can cause a lot of problems, Mr. Stephen Adams. Thank you, sir, and good morning to you. You know, one little word you say can cause great harm, right? The people who are married and in committed relationships, they know what we're talking about here, right? You could say one wrong thing to your spouse or your partner. Man, it can cause so much of trouble, right? So much of trouble. You can even end up in a divorce court over this because one day the other one said this and you're going back and forth because remember, when someone feels they're being attacked, they have to defend. Good morning, big sis. Good morning, Jillian. They, anyone feel attacked, they have to defend, right? So be careful what you say. And you know, like a group of friends might be hanging out after work, going, having a drink, different nationality, different races. And that N-word might come up. Man, you talk about this scripture coming to play right here. But a small spark starting a, um, a small spark setting the blaze of um, the forest. You know how that play out, right? So let's take a next, um, a next um, scripture here. In Proverbs, Proverbs 15, 4. It says, a suiting tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. A soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. You know, many times you might have, you know, your kids, they might be excited about something, and it might not mean much to you. They might come, oh, daddy, mommy, this, is, and you, you did not give them the response. You know, you say something, and it crushes the spirit. And a friend might do it to you, and not even realizing, right? But if you give them some words, encouragement, that would go a long way. That would make the day rather than crushing the spirit, right? And when we talk, when I'm talking on certain topics, I just feel like I'm speaking directly to some people. You just get this feeling in your spirit, like you're, feeling, you're speaking directly to some people. You know, right now, someone might be tempted to go and curse out the boss, curse out a coworker, curse out a, a, um, a family member, some wrong, the boss probably on the, riding them for a long time, the coworker getting on their nerves, or the family member getting on your nerves, and you wanna tell them how you feel, and you develop that courage today, and you said, I'm going and put an end to this. I just wanna advise you, just be careful. Calm down, take a deep breath, and be in control of what you see. Because here what the word says right now in Proverbs 18:21, he said that 
uh, and Proverbs, sorry, 21, 23. Proverbs 21, 23. It says, those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. So I'd advise you, I hope this word reached to you on time. I hope this word get to you on time. Calm down. Calm down, Mr. Hamlet. Thank you for watching. Mr. Vicky LeBeau, thank you. Thank you for my BNI chapter here in Houston, Texas. Thank you. So calm down. I hope this word get to you on time. Approach that situation differently. Approach the boss. Even if you're going to quit your job, go and talk to the boss nicely. Tell them why you are quitting. The reason why you're quitting, tell the co-worker what they're doing to you, and, and you know, and talk to them nicely. And you might be surprised the outcome that you get when you approach it differently, because the scripture says, those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. So, so, so calm yourself down. Don't do anything in anger, because we say and do things that go beyond what an apology can fix. We say and do things that go beyond what apology can fix when we, when we say things in anger. Right, guys? So this week, I want you to just, just think about these laws, all the laws that we go over. Think about them, especially this one with the tongue right now as you're going to the weekend. Think about it. Think about it. This could cause serious consequences, as the scripture saying. You know, one little spark could set the whole forest on fire and you don't want that you don't want that remember laws are here to protect us and not to hurt us or harm us right it's just like the law of the land in, in driving the one that for for speeding right it, it, it's there to, to to ensure safety right so what if they didn't set a speed limit some of us get upset with the speed limit what if they didn't set a speed limit and anyone decides i can drive you know some of us with conscience might say oh, i can just go five miles over the speed limit but you know to have some people gonna go 100 200 you know test the power of that car and what's gonna happen there right so next time we frustrated about laws just think laws are there to protect us okay and that's why i start off the week by saying success is predictable and so is failure if you activate some of these laws you'll get the success if you don't do what the law says you go contrary to the laws you can predict that you will fail okay guys so guys let's go into the week thinking about the power of the tongue the power of thy tongue all right guys so i'm gonna leave that there monday i'll be on at seven um 7 30 again central time it's 8 30 eastern time Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week, guys. So have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Goodbye.